Hey, what's up, kings and queens? It's your girl, Queen uh, Beast, back with another video for you, 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 and you. you. As you guys can tell, we have the hot pot going. We have a seafood hot pot going, and today we are doing... A couple's questionnaire, where we're gonna be asking each other some questions. A couple's debate. And we want you guys to put your input into it. Let us know how you feel about it. Yeah, we got things already going here. We got some steak on there, some lobster tail, sausages, some shrimp. In here, I got my noodles, bok choy, corn spinach dumplings going some sausages got some chili peppers Ooh. in there as well yeah it's, it's about to you feel me? About, let me let me ask the first question while we start okay the question says your significant other quits their job because they want to become a rapper mm. they want to rap they want to rap the like what type of rapper is dropping next week the mixtape so is dropping. are the bills would you support them? Okay, so is it their bills or our bills? Like, what type of bills is this talking about here? What, what uh, are we talking about here? All right. Do we have a family? Like, are we just, like, just me, you it's type of stuff? Other, so we could be dating. We could be, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Why are you looking like that? I'm just saying. Okay. Um, I would say my perspective, if we're not sharing bills and it's just their bills, I feel like I would support the person and what they're doing because my bills won't get paid anyway. How and you, as long how, as you're how, not coming over your, here and be, you know what I'm saying, bills telling me the bills are dropping though. The bills is coming. Yeah, but as long as you didn't come into me asking me about, you know, sending you a cash app. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a support. So if the bills... You feel me? If the bills... I guess when I'm reading that, I'm I'm thinking that they together like sharing bills. Like the bills come in, and you quit your job. Yeah. To pursue rapping career, but then you're like the bills come in. We got the bills to pay. How are we gonna do that? You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm definitely for pursuing your dreams and reaching for your dreams. I'm not a risk taker, but. You know, I'm not gonna knock nobody that does. However, if we got kids, a family, like them bills gotta be paid. And if m what I'm making is not enough, I don't know what you're gonna, you're gonna have to do, go do some Uber Eats or some. But are you supporting? Are you standing by them? That's the Drop question. it down low. I don't know what you're gonna have to do, but then we're gonna have to the do The bills something. gonna get paid. The bills gonna have to get paid. But you supporting though. I'm supporting, yeah. But if you have to quit your job, I mean, if you have to quit the rapping career just for now to make the whole providing thing work, uh -huh. then you got to do it. I'm not living in no car. My bad. You, 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 you understand? Every time we do a hot pot, yeah, it's always dangerous with him. My bad. Um, here's, your, here's your bowl, yeah, by the way. He, doing he that. wants to go ahead and start eating already. Here's your little bowl. But that's my opinion. I, I feel like if you have to provide for your family type stuff, same thing for me. Like if I want to pursue a dream, I feel like if my kids or my house is not in order yet, I'm not going to have them suffer okay. because I want to go, you know, live my dream. Though I feel like, yeah, it might, it might be beneficial, but let's take a pause on that for now. Okay. And let's handle the bills first. I, I agree. The bills need to get paid, you know? So if we're together, I agree with what she's saying. If we're sharing bills, I agree with what you're saying. But if the person want to do their thing, I'm going to support. Because at the end of the day, we dating. And that's, you know, I'm going to pay my, I'm going to handle my business. You know what I'm saying? If we're dating. If we dating, you come ask for cash app one or twice, I'm going to give it to you. But then you're going to have to realize, you know, I'm going to try to even tell you. I'm going to be the person that lets you know. I mean, what. I might not even ask you for nothing because you broke. <laughs> just like, no, just like. I'm the, you're to be the rapper. I'm the rapper. I mean, I'm asked uh, the perspective. We both oh, asked yeah, okay, the question. Okay, okay, so if ahead, you was ahead. the rapper, okay, I'm telling yeah, you what okay, I would I do it. if I was the rapper, you know? So I'm just saying, like, if you ask me for cash app and, like, yo, you know, I, I just quit. The bills are coming. I mean, I'm going to tell you before you even quit, you know, what, what it's going to be. You feel me? Like, <laughs> so ask like, me for name. I mean, I'm gonna I'm I'm help a little bit, but it's like I gotta have no mind. So, so it's like, so if I if I my come bills to you, ain't your bills, your bills ain't my bills. When, when we dating now. So if I come to you, if I come to you and I say, okay, um, now if we engage and we're about to get married, you know, it depends. Like, I don't want y'all be killing wait, me. Wait, hold comments. on. So you saying if we're dating, you don't think you don't think you should pitch in on like paying my bills? Pitch in. Yeah, like you know, <laughs> like hey, if I need to pay my bi my phone bill, you talking to me on the phone, right? You need me to talk on the phone with you, right? You I not mean, gonna pay for it? I'll pay for it, right? It depends how long we've been dating, the relationship. If you asking to get your bills paid one month into talk, you wildin'. Okay. But if we in a serious relationship, I consider you someone I'm gonna marry, you my wife type of thing, future wife, and I'm so I'm in love with you. 
I'm paying whatever you need to be paid. You know what I'm saying? So it just depends. That's why I said I made it clear. Okay. It depends what type of relationship we got. But if we're still single now, I'm going to let you know what I got going on and what I'm going to be able to do for you. <laughs> if you're about to quit, just know I got my own bills. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Don't expect me to just... 100% financially support you when I got stuff I got going on. You know what I'm saying? You see know what I'm saying? Okay. You get it? I'm sound like you like the answer. But if you dating though, <laughs> you there's no kids involved. You don't think you should support the person? Financially support? I could support yeah. you by, hey, all right. I'll be on the sideline. Yeah, financially support. It might be beneficial later on. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Like if you dating somebody, support, but it just and then it's like you got you making more than enough, right? Oh, see that's the the more than enough thing too. Is like you feel me? Would you feel like the that's person your, trying to go after their dreams? Will you feel like why them? you chose to go after your dreams when you with me? Why you quit your job before you met me? Like oh, okay, like, if you wow. See, if you see I got more than enough, that that encourages you. Like my wife, see you guys gotta get understand my wife. Whatever I got, she got. You feel me? We talking about dating. I'm still in the aspect of dating here. Yeah, let me know in the comments we section, y'all. What's and you think? decide to quit your job because I got more than enough? No, it's not did like you that. Talk, it's did like... you talk to me and ask me if I, it was enough for me? <laughs> like, like, that's what I'm saying. So you quit your job because I got more than enough. We dating. Remember, my wife could quit her job because I got more than enough. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. My fiance could quit her job because we got more than enough. But... My girlfriend died just probably one or two months. We just met. We just huh. kicking it and we vibing out, trying to fill each other out. You know, yeah, close that right quick. It's, it's, it's true. <laughs> you feel me? Mm-hmm. That right there, questionable. I guess. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I don't know. Let me get this sauce over here. Show y'all this lovely sauce that we got here. This is like a hot pot mixture. Um, Damn. That we got. You know what? I'm gonna just hold that right there because <laughs> I should have got. I should have got a smaller thing. Cause All right. It says oh. a man is dating two women. What type of question is this? A man is dating two women. Oh my god. He lies to one about mm. this and is truthful with the other. Which relationship does he value more? So obviously, I would probably answer. He first. lies about what though? He lies about whatever. So he's telling the truth to one and he's lying to the other person about the other one. So it could it could be whatever it is. Okay. Which one he values more? The one that he's lying to or the one that I he don't values? know. It depends. I it feel depends. like it depends on the lie though. It depends. I'm going to tell you as a male perspective. Hmm. Let me hear. It depends. Like, like you said. What are you lying about? Because he could just tell you the truth like, yeah, I'm cheating on you. Cause he don't care if you, you think so yeah you don't care if you end up what if walking he don't out say, his life what if he doesn't say yeah i'm cheating on you but he say babe you know what i made a huge mistake and but why such you, and such such and such i cheated on you so <laughs> why so what would be the reason for him to lie to the other one because remember the, tr- the question is he's telling <clears> the truth <throat> to one and lying to the other i'm saying if he choose to lie to one the one that he's lying to he most likely care about because he don't want to, you don't want to face those consequences. I mean, if it's cheating, maybe. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to face those consequences of her potentially leaving, walking out his life. So he gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He gonna lie so that she can stay. You know what I'm saying? So it just depends. That's what I would say. I'm gonna let this stay a little longer. You got the noodles working here. That's done. I don't know about that though. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like <clears throat> it depends. Like, okay, if it's a lie. I mean, you saying you, it depends. Okay, if it's cheating, for okay. For the woman kinda, aspect. Because you saying as a woman, you feel like him lying to you, right? Because you you're not the man. Because it's a mm-hmm. man question. Yeah. You as a woman, him lying to you, you feel like he values the woman that he told the truth to. Because remember, you in a situation where it's a love triangle, where it's two people. It's a love two, triangle. Yeah. So you saying you got lied to and he told the truth to the other woman. He values her her more because he told the I truth. I mean, if, okay, if I'm in a relationship, well, I am in a relationship, but this is me and you, and you lied to me. And I told her the truth. And you told the other person, basically, the you're with me. 
No, whatever it is. I just, I just, I'm lie. I lie to you, and I'm telling her the truth. She is a pen. So you feel as if like I value if you lying to me about you lost your job type of stuff. Damn, this thing's spicing me. Give me about it. But, <clears throat> <clears throat> but yet you would tell somebody else that you lost lost your job. Like for example, somebody mm. close to you, like that's a female. Right. I would feel like that relationship that you have with that female is very important where you was able to open up to that person. You talking about friends? Yeah. I started opening up to me. True. I mean, yeah, of course. So I feel like, yeah, you would value... That person has to be important for that you to be able That opens a whole to... can of worms, though, because sometimes we're more comfortable telling people things don't mean that. Yeah, there's a deeper relationship, especially if she was your friend before you met the girl. There's a whole bunch of situations that could be the reason why the guy chooses to tell another woman before you. Mm-hmm. That has nothing to do with romantic. It could be him just... He's, you know, he probably sees she's more unbiased. You're mm-hmm. seeing it from a lens of knowing me. She's seeing it as a lens of just the outside looking in, a different perspective. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's a whole nother can of worms why he will go to another person before he go to you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But the I truth, guess that makes sense. The truth telling thing for me, like I said, if I tell you the truth, I feel like it depends. But if it's like something very serious, he may want to, and it's like bad news type thing, he don't want to let you know because it's going to neg- negatively uh, impact what y'all got going on with the other female he really don't care about. He going to let her know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want to finish? Oh, yeah, you need to finish. You know, you, you decide, you know what I'm saying? You, you, know, <laughs> I got, you know, I'm... <laughs> Uh-uh. It's basically an open relationship. <laughs> I guess I agree with if it's like, for example, like if it's if you may know the other person, like if you have, God forbid, somebody else. Anyways, but if you have somebody else, and you were op- you was open to them about like you're in a relationship, I don't think you value about really, you know care right much like if it's like i'm in a relationship this is my relationship but mm-hmm. we got this going on i don't think you value that person you, matter of fact you don't value neither one of them if you're doing stuff like that but which one do you care the most with of course the person that you're in a relationship with because you're not going around telling her hey i want to i want to i want to i want to try polygamy or something you get what i'm saying because yeah. I feel like if you start saying that after done dated somebody after or years of being together, then you want to say you want to do that. That's not what they sign up for. Then that's wrong. Instead of saying it early on that, hey, this is our relationship. This is what I'm into. I want to pursue other people while I'm with you. But if you come out later on in life, then you want to say that. Then I feel like you didn't value that person either. Yeah, that's that right there. Right. Your significant other, your significant, man, this thing just be splacking me. Because of the sauce. Your significant other's opposite sex friend, Mm. who they call their sibling, is staying the night with you too. During a drinking game, you find out they slept together years ago. What happens next? So, if this was me and you, Opposite sex friend. So that's this is sibling. what it is. That's my brother. That's my sister. He calls her sibling, but in reality, he calls her my sister. That's my sister. That's your sister, but in right. reality, you don't slept with your sister. We obviously not. And sister. then I found that out. Yeah, and this while triple drinking game. she's hanging out with us in some uh, type of drinking game. Yeah. Uh, what happens next? Um, I'm not gonna lie. I have to take that advice. If you told me then, I feel like you tried me, first of all. And then you got the chick in my face. Talking about that's your friend. That's your friend. Which that can be, but why am I finding out now that y'all slept together? You want me to play devil's advocate or? Let me just answer the question in my perspective. I felt like when we did this, Devil Advocate would have been better and more entertaining. All right, so but. 
I can do devil advocate for this specific situation, and I can tell you my opinion. But that was advocate. They probably was scared, or the person was scared to what you would say if you would say they gotta lose this person as a friend, even though their relationship at this point is strictly just friendship. Mm-hmm. They probably saw how you was rocking, and knew in advance that you wouldn't have wanted them to continue this relationship that they have with their friend at this point. Okay. So they lied. That's the devil's advocate. Not saying that what they would if they said that they were telling the truth. I'm just telling you what somebody would say. So for a reason for lying. I feel like you though. Know okay, if that's the case, how do you how much do you value the relationship that you currently in? In my opinion. That's what I said. That's what I said. Sometimes guys would not tell the whole truth because of the value they have in the shit. I know it's kind of complicated for you women to understand this. You guys think just lying means non-value. Lying or avoiding a certain because they didn't say you li- or it said you lied. Well, no, it's, this question is not really necessarily lying. They just left you out finding important. Out. They left out important details mm-hmm. like that, right? And this person is supposed to be your sister. Right. So leaving people out that, people that detail. People don't sleep with their sisters. No, they probably was ha- they probably had something going on and now they sisters. You don't believe someone can have something going on with somebody and then it turns out to just straight be friends. Yeah. Yes, I, I was I was gonna see because you had that situation one time before when somebody was your friend that was your ex. Stop playing with me. <laughs> I met you like that. I was like, oh, who's that? You was like such and such. I'm like, oh, that's what's up. Oh yeah, that was my that's my ex. I'm like, say what? That's your what? Your friends like that? Okay. So so, so I, was, yes. I was waiting to see. That was a trick question to see how you was gonna answer. Yes, I agree that you can develop just a friendship. However, oftentimes it's only one-sided. Now that I'm more mature and older, um, that view of friend, yeah, you was once rocking with the person, like more than friends or whatever. And then eventually, yeah, just stop. But for, for <clears throat> okay, for my scenario, my ex, that was my friend. This person, in my perspective, my view, my thoughts, I had, I didn't want to deal with the person at all. Now, would we know if the other person that's considered the friend will, will see you that way? He told me, guys, don't really see it that way. If you guys friend you, they like you. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. Remember you told me that? you. You remember you told me that? What I if said? You told me if a guy is like taking you out on movies, y'all going out on movies or hanging out, he's not wasting his time because he just want to be your friend. He wants to do more than that. He wants to be more than just friends. Damn. That's this what you said, Damn, right? I'm telling you, Chuck, that sounds bad on camera. I'm not gonna lie. Well, that sound that sound really bad on camera. It does. If it ba- it's, if it sounds bad on camera, so why you told me that? Cause we wasn't on camera when I told you. Hold on, come on now, you a YouTuber. No, but there's certain things you're not saying on camera. That shit, but okay. But uh, why would that I makes sound it seem bad? like it's, guys are incapable of having female friends without them having intentions. And I don't know why coming in the comment section for me, thinking that's my my view. That's not what I meant. What I said is pertaining to specific dates. If y'all just if y'all going on group, y'all group friends. Like you know, you got group friends. Uh huh. Group friends, like we a group. Yeah. Three boys, two girls, three girls, two boys, vice versa. But if you friends is like, and y'all doing double, y'all doing single dates, like me and you just going out to the park. <laughs> we watching Netflix series together. You don't think that's something? You don't think that that could just be friends? As, as a well. guy, the girl perspective, she's probably friends with him because I see that a lot where. The girls is like, I had, this was my brother. I don't, and he, I don't see you like that. Yeah, yeah. The girls. I, I feel like girls are capable of that. I, maybe guys. I'm not saying every guy is not capable, but I feel like majority of guys I are think, like they're like they're they're playing that brother role, that friend role, and this like they're trying to move from that friend zone. Mm-hmm. You feel know I me? Mean? Like they they being patient and they. You know what I'm saying? Like I think you I think you think that way is because you're like that. Because my husband. He's not gonna give nobody the time of the day. So if if he ever gets to that point of 
like being unfaithful, I would know for sure like this is something because he's not going to text you. He's not going to call you. He's not going to do any of that. But listen, what I'm saying is, so, you said I'm just like, I'm trying to tell you in that aspect, I feel like the majority of guys are like that. Mm. Based on how many guys I've interacted with, based on just social media's postings about being put in the friend zone where they say it's literally like a joke about you being, bro, you're in the friend zone. You know what I'm saying? It's like a joke about it. Like she puts you in the friend zone. When she calls you brother, they have memes about when she calls you bro, big bro. Yeah, I know the, I know and, then you, and then you get shot. <laughs> When she says, big bro, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, these are guys that were friends. The girl doesn't like him, but she saw him as a brother. And he had attention. This is like a, this is like major jokes about this going on. So I feel like the majority of guys. Wouldn't be able to. They, they in the friend zone. They in brother. They, they, they know their boundaries. They're not even trying to kiss you. They're not trying to make you But they would want to be. Yeah, more. like in there, deep down inside, they, they dreaming about you. You know what I'm saying? Like. They, okay. They, when they wake up in the morning, they just left their dream of you having kids and I was in a white picket fence. Okay, so me? for me, for girl, I feel like we are capable of just having friends as the opposite sex or whatever you're attracted to. Um, now, if there's attraction, spicy. if you're attracted to somebody, rather is physical or emotional or mental or intellectually, then... Yeah, I feel like that's like you putting yourself at risk for cheating uh -huh. um, because now there's an attraction there. Now, say such and such, your boo done did something wrong that day or y'all having a rough patch and the person just give you the googly eyes. Now, they're already feeling you. You just in that friend zone. You just like, you know, we just friends. We good. I feel like you got to be careful with that type of stuff. Cause that's how a lot of people end up slipping and their intentions wasn't to do that. It just was weak in the moment. So I don't even know what the question was. The question was what, babe? We good. We good? We answered Yeah, it? yeah, we answered Okay, so let's go to the next one. This is This spicy. is so good though. I love spiciness, so I'm enjoying now, my You're sale. dating about a year, but you have never been to your significant other's home. What does this mostly likely mean? Ooh, let me know in the comment section. We're dating for about one year, and I've never been to your home. <clears throat> yeah. And this doesn't have to be like you have people at your home. This is just your home. Your home? I would think you married. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was answering from not inviting a person. Are we, are we answering from... Like, my perspective, if... If you wasn't invited. If you never brought me to your home. Okay. I would think you married. My perspective is if I never brought you to my home, what do I think? What's my value in this relationship? So that's how I'm gonna answer it. That's how you gonna answer it? Oh, you, yeah. I think you married. Okay. Mm -hmm. For me, or it's, you, it's very simple. Or you live with your mom. You, but and, you she would, pay, you, and she pays the bills. You wouldn't know that though. What, that, that you live with your yeah, parents? Yeah, for sure. How? You probably, I'll tell you. You probably, like, imagine. Ooh, it's hot. The, the type of person I am, like, I probably would have been, say, if we met each other at this age, and I've been dating for you, with you for a year, uh -huh. and I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm about my business type stuff. You probably, a lot of guys were intimidated to even approach me. Um, oh my god. So, let's just say. You already know the answer. I don't know. You asked that question so they can know. No, like you know my answer. But that. <coughs> you would still tell me that you live with your mom. I don't care. You wouldn't like, be me, embarrassed me, at your age. No. <laughs> like me, she pays the you. bills, not you. Let me tell you, me, which you shouldn't already. I'm very confident in the value I bring mm. to whatever relationship I'm in. Mm. Platonic romantic don't matter mm -hmm. so for me you want this way yeah i would not just oh no you can get it <laughs> <laughs> i would not just somebody if they was living with a person with their mom their parents they paying their bills me i wouldn't at 32 years old i wouldn't it depends on why is the reason like and at that point i probably wouldn't even even have took it that far for a year because it would have shown it would have showed in your character the reason because you're lazy you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you wouldn't have made it a year knowing that you're lazy okay. or you don't want to do nothing for yourself or you got no ambitions because okay. that's what 
now that's the negative because there's a positive in living with the people you get to save. Mm -hmm. That person could be living with their mom and God. No, I know people that live with their parents and they got four or five homes. That yeah, if air, you know that. That, that yeah. they're Airbnb, you know what I mean? So it just depends. You don't think they could the get an apartment? If yeah, they, they if could. If they got all that cash, they you don't think they could just they spend could, like the efficiency at least they, $500, they $500 could, a month? But if they're very... Well, it can't be $500 very, a month anymore. Like, but. They, they're down to every cent spent. Some people are. Micromanaging everything and they're like, they're trying to you know, maximize their profits. Mm -hmm. And they paying their mom bills too. You feel me? Mm -hmm. They paying their mom bills too. They may be a little bit so of mom, you mama's boys or mama's girls too. It's like, you know, I'm living here. Why am I leaving like, to go pay? I own these homes. So technically their minds are just not living in them. Mama's boy? Mm -hmm. They may be a mama's boy too. Like it may be a little bit of mama's boys, a little bit of the investment. But what I'm saying is that, so it depends. You could be 32 living with your parents, but like I said, you own five homes, you Airbnb and all of them you living with your parents you helping them pay their bills you have no reason to live you don't feel like you have no reason to live alone and financially your credit score 750. that's good that's minus incredible. the other guy that lives by himself his credit that's score incredible. 500. Mm. he asking you for Terrible. cash apps yeah bad. you feel me because he lay on his rent because he living by himself mm -hmm. like so it just depends you feel me like i don't think that's a it depends on why you're there but <clears throat> some people they have the mindset where it's like if you're dead doesn't matter if you're rich or not it's just a negative thing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it is kind of a negative because if I'm with you, I'm we're 32 years old. I'm coming home, and we're coming. I'm coming to where you at, or we're chilling at your parents. I feel like because of the culture that I'm in, parents. <clears throat> if you're under your parents' roof, it's their rules, no matter how old you are. But that that's okay, sweetheart. We're just going to one of my Airbnb cribs. Airbnb ain't written for it. So if that's the, ain't written, you see that that's you gonna go you, you gonna experience in a year probably off five cribs. Well, come the live Air, with me then. Cause the Airbnb, damn, <laughs> the Airbnb, right? You said mm -hmm. the Airbnb ain't ran the whole year, sweetheart. So you want to crash? I got five homes. One of them is available right now. Let's go. Well, if you don't ever have to see my mom and if dad. If you have five homes in the home, why you? Okay. You still don't see, see that makes sense to me. It does make sense because I'm telling you, some people are like to maximize their profits but then you don't live with your parents you just no you live with your parents. over there every you can have five homes and live with your parents i mean yeah if for that's sure, the sure. main residence but that for idea sure. is giving me the that i don't know let me know in the comment section because that idea is giving me the it's not giving me you have five homes it's saying you live with your parents you don't got no other homes but you got homes though. No, right? you don't do you have no other homes. How you, you live with your that? parents. How you cancel the fact that I literally have five homes? Because that's not what is accent. It is accent that. It's, no, it's, it's not. It's what you think. And I'm trying to tell you, it depends on a perspective. If I don't let you come to my house, right? After a year, right? Uh -huh. You said you think you married or you, or you could be parents. embarrassed because you live in parents. And I and I was given the advocate, devil advocate of the parent aspect. Oh, uh, okay. It's not really a negative thing if they're living with their parents. Yeah, it depends. It's not. You see what I'm saying? It's not. If you got your credit score <clears throat> on point. If you got everything on you point. You have your money in your bank. I don't see a problem. However, when you become in a relationship, I, that's just me for me oh, personally. That's different. that's different. When you start in a relationship after a year and you still live in your people, I feel like you're not. Ma'am, I'm We got to separate. You got to se you gotta, you gotta cut that umbilical cord. Ma'am, I'm pure. You ain't coming to my house till we married anyways, man. Because we ain't, we ain't getting down like that. I'm not talking. I'm, I'm, I'm pure. What Why about to my house? What I'm about pure. what about privacy? I'm pure. I'm I have privacy. Even, I close my door and lock my door. I'm pure. You ain't coming to my house. That's giving me high school vibes. I'm sorry. If you have enough to get your own place, then that and if you if you can't if you don't want to then you come in to live with me comment if you, down if you don't want to do that then section right now it's just not gonna work what you guys think <laughs> comment down in the comment section of what you guys think because this this actually conversation we have we talked about this many times throughout our relationship mm -hmm. not because we were going through it but it's just a we're very opinionated with this <clears throat> i have one opinion about it she has another opinion about it and we since we met we never changed in that opinion that's the funny part mm -hmm. we both had the same but it's cool it, it is what it is you know what i'm saying so that would be something like a dynamic where someone in that such a situation i just feel like if you in a relationship it now becomes a priority priority to have your own place it depends it doesn't have to be luxurious it place. Depends. it doesn't have to 
if you're saying that you're at that point if you really about like you you wouldn't even spend a good if you saying you got enough to and you wouldn't even spend a good 500 on a little efficiency so you can have your own place your own privacy and you won't even move in with your girl then that's just why well, i gotta move in with my girl though why well, i gotta move in with you i'm pure I'm not talking about I'm a boy, like I'm 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 pure. Why am I moving in with you? Well then you need some type of privacy. Now now let's say if the person is like y'all married and then I feel like that about becomes come, important. come live in the house with me with my parents, that's different. But like when we dating bruh but anyways, let's go back to the question. So a year, right? Mm -hmm. For me, if I'm not inviting you for a year, that means I just don't care about you. After a year, yeah. I mean, I care about you, but you're not that. You're not. You don't mean you're that much to me. That much. Yeah, that I gotta tell you where I live, and you come in. That's what that means. You don't me. know if you're gonna take it there. Yeah, it could be that too. Some got. Sometimes got. You are. This is the last question. We're gonna end this because I gotta bring later gymnastics. You are about to get into your significant other's car and notice the passenger seat. This happened to me once. Is not how you left it. Do you inquire what about it or not explain? <laughs> Who me? Yeah, there's times you when we was dating, you came in my car, you went like this. Who's been here? But you joked about it. Like, oh, okay. Like who's been here? Like, like, <laughs> like I don't got brothers. I literally be with my friends going to church and all that stuff. People be in my car all the time. Mm. But she will come in there like, Who oh, you yeah. had it here? You sure about like, that? Mm. Anyways, mm. for me. There was times I, I got into her car and I was like, why the seat, why the seat back and whatever. I'm a tall guy, so it's not really a why the seat is back, but why is the seat closed in? And then she was like, my dad brought my dad off and da da da. She's like, that. you know, I make jokes about it too. So, you know, we make jokes about it, but. Yeah, we never took it serious. But the question is, do you ask about it or do you just let it go? Like, that's the question though. I mean, to me, that's like something so, so tiny and petty. I don't think I would look so I don't even think I would pay attention to that too much. If you that. saw it, but the question is you saw it. Are I you bringing it. it up? Are you bringing it up or are you just staying quiet? If it's like way pushed back, I'm gonna be like- What the, to what? Way like pushed back? if it's way pushed back, like an obvious, I'm gonna be like, um, dang, why, why is the seat so pushed back? I'm gonna ask you, but I don't no, think no, my no, mind no, would no. go into- You're asking because it's way pushed back. It's way pushed back. Yeah, you're not asking because it's way pushed back and you think, Somebody's been in there. You just asked me because it's way pushed back. Yeah, I'm actually like, no, well, no, no, why no, no, is it no, way that's not, back? That's not the question. The question is, it's pretty much insinuating you think somebody else has been in there that's not supposed to be in there. Are you letting it go or are you saying something? I mean, if I think somebody has been in there, of course I'm going to mention it. I'm going to say, hey, somebody was in here? Like, what's going <laughs> on? Hmm. Well, who you had in here? Me. Now, if you tell me no, I'm going to be like, so what happened with this seat? Why this seat like this? Me? Why your seat was uh, like you that the other day? Me? You already know me. Why your seat was like that the other day? What are you talking about? <laughs> me? <laughs> me? We barely... You already know my answer. I'm asking everything. Yeah, he asks everything. I'm not gonna lie. I can't even do anything. Never mind. You know what? <laughs> why you smell like that? Why you Why you breathing hard? I just got in the car. Why are you hyperventilating? Mm -hmm. Let me check your blood pressure right quick. What I'll type, be asking him questions. What blood actually, type you are? I actually asked him a question today. I'm not gonna go into the question, but I asked him a question. You can ask the question. Listen, this girl, no, I went to sleep, and she, she, it was three o'clock in the morning. I woke up. Babe, don't don't do that. We're not talking about that right now. Okay, let's change the subject. We gonna end the video here, guys. If you guys enjoy this type of video where we just talking, just be a couple. It's not a regular prank. It's not a challenge, but it's just us just vibing. I out. mean, we used to do it. And it's you guys want to chime in can. and talk to us. If you enjoy it, please comment down below. Let us know. Also, hit the like button. That's going to let us know as well that you enjoyed this video. Yeah, y'all see me grabbing my noodles. And subscribe. I got to go bring Layla to. You got to go, so that's why. To you know. So we're going to end this. But this is a long video. Anyways, this is not even that's why. This is a long video if you think about it. We just ex over explained our, our answers. But we're always going to leave it here. Make sure to like. I want to do another of these debates. Subscribe. subscribe. Click the post notification. I was just going to leave you guys with. We love, love you. You're perfect. perfect. You're beautiful. Peace. Peace.